Hi everybody, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can use 5.6 materials inside Metabyte. The new materials are amazing. The new Maya plugin is amazing. If you didn't check it yet, please go try it as much as possible. In this tutorial, I will do my best to improve your workflow, make it faster, and help you to create higher quality characters. So let's get started. To use new materials, you need to have Maya plugin. If you didn't check our previous tutorial or if you didn't install it yet, just go to this video and watch it to install the new Maya plugin. After that, go to our station and download your Metapipe files and find metapipe.exe file. Just double click on it and click on install Metapipe free and then click on install Metapipe and install. After that, go to this license key area. If you have a license key, just put it here and click on update license. If you don't have any license key, it will be running on trial version. And then just open the new Maya scene. In here, we have Metapipe icon. So before running it, this part is important. Before running it, if you want to use the old workflow, and if you want to use the DNA calibration workflow, you can directly run this. But if you want to use the new MetaHumans, MetaHuman 5.6, then you have to do some change on your plugin manager. You have to enable the new Maya plugin. If you want to use the old workflow, you should check this playlist to install everything. The workflow is different from 5.6, so you should follow this Metapipe 3 Origins playlist in order to work with the old DNA calibration workflow. And let's go back to Maya. In this tutorial, I will use 5.6 Metimus. So I need to enable the Maya plugin. Just go to Windows and click on Settings and Preferences and go to Plugin Manager. Inside it, just make sure that the old Quixel Bridge plugins are unchecked. Maya RE Legend RBF plugin is unchecked. DNA calibration is unchecked. Embedded RL4 is unchecked. Those plugins should be unchecked. And after that, go to Metaman 4 Maya plugin and click on load. And if it is successful, you should be able to see this MetaHuman tab on the top. If you get any error, that means you need to disable your Quixel Bridge plugin. If you cannot handle that error, just delete the old Quixel Bridge files and you will be able to work with the new Maya plugin. And just close here. And right now we can run Metapipe. As you can see, Metapipe is running and the new workflow is very simple. Just you need to have a DNA file which you can easily export from Unreal Engine. Just go back to 5.6 MetaHuman Creator. Inside your MetaHuman Creator file, you will see a button called MetaHuman Character. Just go to that, click on this. And for this character, you can save face DNA. And also you can do the save body DNA. In Metapipe, we need both of those files. So I will save the face and the body, both of them. And just click on save face DNA and save it to anywhere you want. I will call it face dot DNA. You should put that dot DNA at the end because it doesn't save it with the suffix. And click on save and then go back again. Click on save body DNA. Call it body dot DNA and click on save. Go back to Maya and we have this new load DNA button. Simply click on this button and it will ask your DNA files. First, you need to select the face. You should do it in order. Be careful with this. First, you need to select the face and then select the body and then click on yes. And here we have our metahuman. We have a couple of options. We can go with origins, nitrous. Also, we can go with genetics, suits. But in this video, I will show only the origins workflow and I will show the other workflows in the other tutorials. So let's click on origins. In here, as you can see, you have different options to do. Since the Maya plugin does most of the things, we just make the UI simpler for you. So here, as you can see, there is mesh fix and there is buttons for blend shapes, connect rig and material assign. Let's start with the blend shapes. 
as you may know, Unreal Engine released their own solution for blend shape edits. The problem in here is you can edit blend shapes one by one. So if you want to edit 60 shapes, it's a huge problem in the process. And to create highly realistic characters, most of the time, you need to sculpt hundreds of shapes to make it perfect. Let me explain how the blend shapes works. For example, this is a controller and when you enable it, there is a blend shape running. And this is another controller and when you activate it, another blend shape is activating. But we only activated two controllers, so there should be two active blend shapes, right? Well, it is not that simple because when you activate two controllers, Sometimes you may be activating the third shape, which is the combination corrective shape. And if you want to work with blend shapes, you need to make everything perfectly. You need to fix a shape and then you need to fix its related shapes. If you don't fix the related shapes, you cannot get the desired result. And for the mouth area, there are a lot of combination blend shapes. For example, these two have a combination blend shape. Also, if you activate this one, these two have its own combination blend shapes. These two have its co own combination blend shapes. But also, these four have its own combination blend shapes. So if you try to fix all the combination shapes one by one, you will spend nearly one week, two weeks. You will spend a lot to fix all of it. And if you are looking for high quality results, you need to do this. In Metapipe, we have this blend shape export and blend shape edit buttons. Basically, we export nearly 60 and 80, 60 to 80 blend shapes to outside. And then we split all of these blend shapes to the relative shapes. So at the end, you only edit those shapes, but you will have hundreds of shapes fixed. That is the beauty of Metapipe. So let's export the blend shapes from here and let me show you how they work. I will click on blend shape export and then I just open the ZBrush but you can use any software. Just go to Z plugin, Top Tool Master, Multi Append and inside here you can import all of the shapes and inside here for the first phase we have 47 blend shapes. Includes brow down, brow lateral, brow raise, cheek raise, Closed, look down, look up, eye open, eye squint, jaw move to the left, right, jaw open, funnel, jaw open, combination, funnel towards combination, funnel towards jaw open combination. So as you can see, there are a couple of combinations and co combinations of combinations and a couple of more shapes like this. You can sculpt on those shapes in here you can do any modification like you can do this for this shape and then for this shape you can do this you can do that so let's export our modified meshes go to the plugin subtool master and click on export while all of the shapes are visible export and click on save if you saved all the meshes inside this exact specific path DNA calibration output blend shapes modified folder then it means you don't need to import all of these meshes and go to here and select the auto mod and go back and click on blend shape edits so it is done and let's try our modified shapes and as you can see everything is working so this is how you can change your blend shapes. I didn't expect this result, but it's not a bad, I mean, it's kind of strange. Yeah, there's a unique result, accidental result. Okay, and let's say I want to change the shape right now. Can I do it? Yes. Let's import another shape. And let's say I want to switch this character with this shape. What you can do is just click on this shape and click on mesh fix. Let's hide those meshes and let's test the shapes and as you can see you can keep your modifications with the sniff shape as well finally to export your metahuman you just need to assign materials 
and then go to export settings just uncheck the meshes that you don't want in your export which can be like you may not want to export eyelashes you can uncheck it and let's say maybe you don't want the flip-flops you can uncheck it you may not want combined mesh uncheck it and that's all if everything looks okay just click on export and our shape will be exported outside of Maya. It is time to import our character to Unreal Engine. It is very simple. So we need to have skeletal meshes, both head and body. If you don't have it, just go to your character and assemble option and inside it, choose Unreal Engine Cinematic and click on assembles. And we can close this, go to materials and go to your material folders and you will see body and face code face to import your character we can use exactly the same files so the only thing we need to do is right click on this and click on duplicate and i will call it tests and let's save this file as well just right click on the duplicated file and click on re-import with near file and go find your cvna calibration output folder and inside it just select the head.fpx that is just created right now with Metabyte. And it is successfully imported. Let's check our mesh. And as you can see, this was our final modification. And let's go to the shapes. Let's check the shapes. I will switch it to the tests. And as you can see, the shapes are working too. You can see our ridiculous modifications. Yep. And that's it. This is how we can use 5.6 metahumans inside Metapipe. Till next time, good luck with your metahumans and bye.